This weekend, you may see big crowds looking to put the pandemic in the rearview mirror and return to restaurants for dining in and not so much for takeout. That's putting a huge strain on an industry that's thrilled for the business again. But as John Shearick learned, is still way behind in finding enough workers to serve the crowds quickly. Coming back from COVID crazy. Friday night. Restaurant row on Canton Street in Roswell. Good crazy. Crowds are definitely coming back um, at crazy volume. We're seeing 2019 numbers. We're eclipsing 2019. Customers often quickly realizing they're having to wait and wait and wait for tables here and everywhere else and for food once they get tables. We definitely feel moments of stress of times where we definitely feel uh, the lack of hands, as we call it in the restaurant industry. Haley Alexander and bartender Jerry Jeremy Hathcote at Canton Street Social with everyone else doing the work of several servers at once. We are a little understaffed, but we do try to give 110% service. Yeah, we'll show you our appreciation for having you in here and having you back. When Shane Clements of Zest sees some customers getting impatient, he asks for their understanding. Yeah, our team right now, they work a lot of doubles. A lot of them are working 50, almost 60 hours a week. And with that, you know, we need to be patient, enjoy the experience, and just give some time, we'll get them taken care of. Personally, I'm doing great. Server Julie Summer, scrambling table to table to keep up, she says, with understanding guests. I come here to make money, so you know, we've been busy and I like that. Um, I feel like we definitely need a little bit more help. How are the tips? <laughs> I can't complain. <laughs> just know that we are really trying our best and things hopefully will get back to normal as soon as possible. When everyone will be able to keep up with Friday Night Crazy once again.